So as promised, we're going to show how I like to rig a halter so that it's safe to turn a horse out. Uh, many times people will have a horse a little hard to catch or for convenience sake they'll want to use, leave a halter on. You can get breakaway halters that have a complete leather crown. And that's really state of the art, that's good. But it's a little more of a nuisance if they tear that uh, to replace and so forth. And you have to have that set of halters. Plus, you can't use that halter to tie a horse because the last thing you want is for the horse to pull back and have that leather piece break as it's designed to do. Two things happen. The horse flips over because of the sudden release and he also, if he's not hurt or even if he is, he learns to get away. Not something that you want. So what I like to use is a web halter, a nylon web halter, especially if I'm going to be turning them out. Uh, and I use this with the babies, the, the weanlings and so forth. You see people turning horses out with rope halters. They are unbreakable and there's a little more space in them. I prefer to use a web halter if I'm going to use it to turn a horse out with a catch rope on it. Uh, the best kind, and this is not one of them, has an adjustment under the chin so you can make sure that that isn't loose enough for a horse to be scratching themselves with a hind foot and get it up through there. So I would favor that and in fact that's what's on the two young horses we just looked at. So what I do is very simple. So you've got this halter and you've got a lace. This is a leather or rawhide lace. It is not a nylon heavy duty boot lace. However, an old set of rawhide boot laces is absolutely great. Just make sure it's rawhide and make sure it's still viable and not completely worn out because you don't want this to tear with no pressure. So what you do is you start out like you're putting this on a horse the normal way. So you get up, we'll go to the top on this one, and normally you'd run the pin through. So you drop the pin out, fold it down. If you want to use that last hole, then I'll just take this and thread this through and if it's a little big because I have some of these old rain laces and are kind of thick you can use a pair of pliers and pull it through and that won't won't compromise it at all then I just loop it around the top because that seems to keep it a little more accurate and just tie it and I tie just a good old double sort of a low quality square knot that will hold because uh, the knot isn't what you want to fail but if a horse hits that that will break if I was a little stouter and this wasn't such a nice new lace in this case I could probably break it that's what you want now let's suppose that you want to tie your horse or work with your horse straight up depending on the size of the lace you can even leave it in place and, and get the pin into that hole. More frequently what you'll just do is say, okay, I don't want this to be fused anymore because I think of this as a kind of a fuse that fails. The same way the fuses in your electrical system in your house fail intentionally when there's too much of a load. So I'll just pop that out and then I've got a standard holder again. I can tie my horse up. It'll be more secure. And then what I do is I lose this. Keep track of where it is, you'll be happier. But this has worked out very, very well. Will you lose a halter now and again? Yeah, if you got them out in a big field, they step on this or they get tangled up in something. You may find the halter, you may not, depending on how big your pasture is. When you do lose a halter, go look for it, but don't call me. Final thing, the catch rope. This is short. If you look at the video, the, the ones that I put on the fillies was, were longer. This is one that's kind of used up. I don't like a huge rope, but I don't want a little tiny piece of cord. 
And then something in the, a fairly delicate snap. This is a trigger snap. I recycle everything. I can't admit when something's worn out. But see, that's still good. And you've got that to catch your horse with, which we've discussed in the other segment. So there's some food for thought on how to rig what I call a fused halter, which is safe, cheap, and effective. Give it a try.